Good evening. In today's video, I'm actually going to be using a new foundation. I just received it in the mail a little bit ago, like today. I have the LYS Beauty Foundation and Concealer. I actually ordered these off of Sephora, and I'm very excited to use these. I don't buy much off Sephora, in all honesty. I'm a more Ulta, TJ Maxx kind of kind of person, but these were actually pretty inexpensive. I think it was like 22 and 18 or something like that. And then I have like, you know, some sort of coupon code, discount code, that kind of stuff. So I'm excited to put this on my face today. And I think I'm just going to do this part and then we'll kind of, it is late at night. I'm not going to be like checking in or anything. I just want to see what this looks like. I just want to try it out, see how the color is and just kind of get a feel for it. So we're going to put this on and let's go ahead and get started. Starting with the foundation, this is the LYS Beauty Triple Fix Serum Foundation. And it says, satisfy your skincare and foundation fix at the same time. With this clean light to medium coverage, okay, foundation that's infused with nourishing skincare, this undetectable serum foundation instantly diffuses the look of dark spots, pores, fine lines, and imperfections without masking your skin's natural beauty. Usage. Smooth a small amount onto clean, moisturized, and or primed skin with a sponge or foundation brush, not included, build as desired. So, that sounds awesome. And the packaging of this is just so cute. It's this little triangular bottle. Like, look how pretty this is. I picked this up in the shade LN3. I almost picked up the shade LN6 because it looked maybe a little bit cooler in undertone, but... I don't know. I just, LN3 seemed to just be more, okay, let's give this a try. We could darken if we need to. And I also have my eyebrows already on, so don't worry about that. I just want to wait to prime the face and do foundation and everything though. So for primer, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dew Primer. I did want to pick something that I know I like. And while I'm letting that primer set in, I will tell you what's in my brows. I have the Milani Precision Brow in Caramel. I really like these brow pencils. And the e.l.f. Brow Lift, which is like the one that looks like hair gel, like absolutely clear. I've been liking this a little bit more. You can see I've actually been like using it regularly. Honestly, I put my product in first and I kind of use this as just a brow, like wax pomade setting thing. And I've been liking it more knowing that I need to use less product and not fiddle with it so much. So update on that. I am enjoying it a little bit more at this point. Okay. I think that primer is ready to go. So we're going to take our LYS foundation and I'm not even pumped this out yet. So let's see. It has a cute little pump. I'm actually just going to put this on like my powder for right now, like the lid to this. Let's see how many pumps it takes to get this out. Oh, not many. So there is one pump. You can't see it. It's almost the same color as this lid. Um, <laughs> we're going to take one pump for now. Sorry if I'm looking at the monitor. It's that time of night where it just like darkens everything. So so that's fun. Picking up my little Twin Stars Wet n Wild foundation sponge. I'm going to pick up a little bit of this and pat it in on the side. Maybe a little light for me. Or not. I mean, that definitely matches. That definitely matches my neck. Let's go on the forehead a little bit. And this is the shade LN3. But I have noticed about myself, if I buy one that's too light, I will wear it and then like just add bronzer. But if I buy one that's a shade too dark, I usually just kind of forget about it. I'm like, well, it's not right. Or I'll use it in the summer, you know? Okay. There's half, like just one layer on the side. That looks really pretty. I think you can tell a difference. Like there it is and there it's not. So that took most of that pump. There's a little bit left on there. I am going to grab a brush, although I'm really liking the way this looks with a sponge. Mm. We'll try it with a bit of a brush. I am going to put another pump on here. Okay, the second pump definitely gave more product than the first one. So it must have just been a little partial one. So I'm going to pick that up on my brush. 
Okay, right away you can see it's more coverage, but I don't feel like the finish of this as well. And if you watch me, you know I like, I use a brush quite a bit when I don't want to bother to wet a sponge. <laughs> when the laziness takes over. I just don't feel like that looks as nice. So I'm going to put that brush away and just go back in with the sponge. I'm going to go back in for one more layer, kind of on the cheek area here, just where I want it. Normally for a serum foundation, I would like a brush better, but I don't know, surprising. Like the new L'Oreal one, I always use that with a brush because it is so liquidy. There is the LYS foundation with like two light layers, I mean really, that used about both full pumps. I like that. Again, I probably could have gone like one shade darker. Well. LN6 is like three shades darker, but it was the other neutral undertone one, so I, that was the other choice. Okay, I like the way that this looks. Now going into the LYS, what is this called? The LYS Beauty Triple Fix Full Coverage Brightening Concealer. So we'll read the description of this. Whether highlighting your favorite features or concealing pesky blemishes, this full coverage breathable formula Instantly brings a balance to the complexion for a natural seamless look that wows. Usage to highlight. Use the doe foot applicator to apply to the high points of the face, including the under eye area and center of the forehead. Build and blend using a sponge or complexion brush, not included. To spot conceal, concentrate product on blemishes, redness, or dark spots prior to foundation. Well, we've already blown past that because I already have my foundation on. So we're guess we're not doing that today, but I feel like this foundation did a nice job like I have some darkness up here some redness on the cheeks I mean I feel like that really covered nicely with two layers this is also in that really cute packaging like that little triangular packaging I am going to shake it just so it's all mixed up all right let's see it's a little hard to pull out of the container here's what that looks like also a little I can't see that up in front of my face also a little triangular tip here there's that Okay, so we're just going to apply a little bit. Ooh. That feels amazing. Like that feels so cooling almost and like hydrating. That feels nice on the skin. Makes me want to put on a little bit more. Okay, now putting that back in the container was a little bit weird. I don't really do this much, but I'm just kind of feeling it. But putting this back in here, it's kind of, it's kind of hard to get back in the tube, but it went okay. To blend this in, I'm actually going to use one of those Jaclyn Hill Morphe brushes that I picked up the other day. I'll probably end up going over with a sponge as well. Okay. I am looking really, really, really dewy. Taking that same wet and wild sponge and just going over everything here, making sure it's smooth, it's pretty. So far, this looks beautiful, but it is very, very, very glowy. And if you don't like that, this may not be for you, but I am also wearing the Jelly Pop Dew Primer, which is a tacky primer, but it is a little more dewy. So I am going to test it out with a couple other things before I'm like, no, it's too dewy. I don't like it because I really like the way that this looks. If my makeup looks like this at the end of the day, I don't mind it. It's more how it holds up rather than the oil or the shine. This is an oil, the shine on it. I am going to set everything down with powder in just a second. But I'm going to show you the other products I'm grabbing just so this can, I want to see how it sets down. Like if this dries at all, if it stays really tacky or whatever the case may be in the next couple of minutes. So I just had to show you really quickly one of the things I got in my Sephora order. I only ordered two things and I got the foundation and concealer. Then it came with like a little free sample you could select what you wanted. 
And so I picked the NARS uh, Laguna Bronzing Powder. Look how teeny tiny this is. It is so cute with my sleeves like this. I have those tiny hands in. Um, <laughs> look how cute this is. And it is in the shade Laguna. And it opens like just like their packaging with the little flap and everything. It is the soft touch with the like bronzy colored NARS. And you open it up. It's like the size of it. It is the size. This is smaller than the single Natasha Denona eyeshadow. I mean, it's tiny. But look how cute. That's so adorable. I love this. I was freaking out when I found it in there. And my husband's like, are you serious? I was like, look how cute it is. It's so tiny. So tiny. So I am going to be using this today just because so cute. I did pick this, but you know when they show you the pictures, it looks like you see it as a full-size bronzer. You know it's not. You know it's not. But I think sometimes you can't imagine just how tiny it really is. Okay, I think we've kind of let this set long enough. It's not really going to set. I mean, yeah, it's like a dewy foundation. So I'm going to put some powder on this. And for powder, I'm using the CoverGirl Clean Fresh in fair. I really like this powder. You can almost see the rings on this powder already, but it's kind of just a setting powder. I don't feel like it gives me a ton of coverage. So I feel like this will be a fair one to use with this as I'm like trying it for the first time. Again, not officially like testing it. It was just kind of a, just kind of a, I received this today in the mail and I had to have it on my face stat. I did have a face of makeup on before this that I took off. Okay, with a little bit of powder, it still feels tacky, but it's definitely taking the shine down. Now with that powder on, this looks beautiful. I mean, this looks natural. It looks really, really nice. Even with the powder, sometimes I put the powder on and it kind of creates a layer on your face almost. This isn't doing that. With a little bit of powder on it, it just looks so nice. It really, really, really does. Now, for how dewy it is, that makes me worry that it's going to come off like in five minutes. So like I said, I'm not doing anything else this evening, but I will wear it until I go to bed. We'll see. This is just trying to get a feel of it, not really full on all of my thoughts on it. But while we're here, we're going to go ahead and do the rest of the face makeup just to see how it all lays, to see if that setting did anything, if it all picks up and moves all over my face. So we will see. Since I found this brush first, we're going to start with some nose contour. That didn't do anything too funky on the nose so far. I'm going to take the Sigma brush, the small contour brush. They've had quite a few Sigma brushes at TJ Maxx lately, and I also saw the Sigma brush cleaner, like the little mitt that goes on your hand. I saw another one of those today. I didn't pick it up because I already bought one, but I had only seen one. You know, the one I got was it. So they do have them out there. There are more. I've not used mine yet, so I'm not saying it's fantastic. I have no idea. I've not used it yet, but <laughs> that'll be the next thing. I'm surprised I haven't used it yet. I'm like weirdly excited about it. I feel like that still looks good. I'm not seeing anything too like outstanding that looks not good. So going into this little bitty bronzer, the Laguna bronzer. Now I do have a Laguna bronzer, but mine is, oh my gosh, this is going to be so pigmented. I tapped in like nine times. Okay, let's, let's, let's be careful but my bronzer is like that. I feel like there were ones that were like a sheer, a more sheer formula. They have like a, uh, like a pattern on it, like almost chevron pattern, I guess, on it. Now I am trying to stamp this on instead of like really blending because I am nervous about the foundation being everywhere. But as of this moment, like right here looks so good. Like it looks so smooth. Wow. Okay. I'm impressed so far, but I'm not going to, you know, say oh, it's amazing. Number one, jump, jump out and buy it. No, because I don't know that. But upon first impression, 
It's cute. I like it. I've never really tried the regular Laguna, whatever this one is, like the Shiseido. They own that? Anyway, I've never really tried like this specific one. And this is really nice. That blended onto the skin very easily. Okay. Since we were on that NARS bronzer, I pulled out my, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, my NARS blush palette in Hot Fix. And I will probably end up using the blush and the highlighter in here. So let's just go for it. Using my Sigma blush brush, or it's actually a large angled contour brush. I'm just going to dip into all three of these shades here because I'm not sure what eye look I want to do. Whoa. Why do I always think that it's going to be like invisible? Somebody else do that. There are certain products, not everything, like my e.l.f. blushes, I know they're really pigmented, I'm really, really cautious, but like this one, I'm like, ugh, it's NARS, it's going to be really lightly pigmented. But instead of finding that out carefully, I'm like, nope, I'm going to need all of this. I can't be the only one that does it. I'm going to do a touch on the nose. Yeah, after putting these on, I'm noticing that you can definitely see like my dark circle here and like right here. I don't want to get too close, it keeps turning my camera off. But I think it's the that kind of foundation that where it says light to medium. The concealer says brightening and it's like, okay, it's doing those things. And it does look really nice and it is covering enough to where I feel like it's worth putting on. I think, yeah, that's definitely something that bothers me where it's like light coverage, but so light that you're like, hello? Well, I, I, I already had a moisturizer on. I'm going to go into this highlighter now. But I like when you can see it enough to know it's there, like it was worth the trouble. And I do feel like this evened my skin tone out a lot. And I actually do have the Kosas concealer and foundation in the mail right now. It's on its way to me. Now those products I did order from their site. This I got off of Sephora, but the Kosas things came from the Kosas website because they had that sale. So I ordered the LYS foundation and the Kosas foundation on the same day. I already have the LYS. I haven't even gotten a second email about the Kosas, so I don't know. I know a lot of times if it's like their own website, it takes longer for shipping. You know, that's normal. So I've not heard anything back. So I have no time. I have no timeline on that. It's going to be a minute. Okay. I think we're going to leave this like it is. I'm going to throw on some eye makeup really quickly and we'll be back to close out this video. Okay. And we're back with our eye makeup finished up all the things. This look will be coming soon. And I've been sitting here for probably 30 minutes at least. And I am looking very, very, very shiny with this LYS foundation, but it looks nice. Like it doesn't look so, so oily that I'm like, ugh. but I don't know. I I'm going to have to really try this out. I don't hate it, but I don't love it right now. So again, first impression, just trying it out and I feel like everything looks good. Like it looks really nice where I've applied all this other makeup and everything. But again, I use that dewy primer. I will try it with a mattifying primer. I'll try it with my pore filling primers. So I'm not going to judge it right now with all of those factors and the fact that I've been sitting here in front of this and it's kind of warm in here with this hoodie on. So, you know, I'm going to give it a break for now. But I do think this looks really, really nice. This LYS foundation and concealer, it went on really nicely. The shade is really good for me. Again, LN3 in both. And I do feel like it looks good. It looks nice. So we will see, you know, we will, we will check this out. We will continue playing and also look forward to the Kosas foundation and stuff that I have no idea what shade I should have gotten. I don't even know what shade I got. Maybe 140. It may be really dark. It may be really yellow. It may be too light. I have no idea. The shades on there felt really close together, but what people were posting online felt like not 
what it said on the website. So that one I had no idea. This one I felt pretty confident that this was going to be a nice cool tone thing. And it is. I feel like this looks nice. It blended down easily to my neck. So we will be checking in more with this foundation. I am enjoying it so far. So I hope you enjoyed hearing my thoughts on this. Again, check out the next video for this eye look. So I hope you enjoyed hearing my thoughts, beginning thoughts on this foundation and concealer. Really pretty packaging, really nice products. Again, a, a good shade match for me. And with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you'll consider subscribing and I will see you next time. Bye.